Today I'm going to install an outdoor wet rated outlet cover with a new GFCI protected outlet. Here's a list of tools and supplies needed for the project. I'll have the links in the description. All right, today I'm going to be switching out this outlet cover as well as the outlet. I'm going to replace it with a, a weather uh, tamper resistant GFCI outlet. And I'm going to uh, replace the cover with this uh, wet rated uh, plastic cover. Uh, one thing that's great about this is that you can have it open in either direction. So right here is a hinge pin right here to allow you to mount it this way and then it would open up. Otherwise you can have it sideways like I'm going to have it and put the hinge pin on this thing so that's the the hinge that it opens from and it opens up and then also this this allows uh, different types of outlets to be uh, installed in this box it has one for a duplex and then one for the GFCI and then a, a toggle switch so again you can mount it vertical or horizontal it's wet rated and you can have this cover closed uh, while having a cord coming out either the side or on the bottom uh, so that way it remains protected uh, in the rain whereas this it does not it just you'd have something plugged in and it's, rain can still get in you know to the side so the other reason for me switching it out is that I have this gives me a little bit of depth of a box so then I can Mount it to the wall here. As you can see, I'm replacing siding with hardy siding. Uh, it used to be a vinyl. And I'm going to uh, trim it out around the, the cover here. At least that's what the plan is, is for right now. But I'm going to show you how to do this. And just so you all know, I am not an electrician. I just do DIY projects and I want to share what it is that I do. Maybe help give you the motivation for you to be able to do it yourself. But if you're at all hesitant, then by all means, hire an electrician to do it. And that way it's done to the latest code wherever you're located, as codes are different in different states and uh, municipalities. So first thing you want to do is, is turn the breaker off at the panel and then get yourself a sensor to confirm that it is off. And then test it whereas this sensor would would beep if there was power so I already turned it off I'm gonna start switching everything out now if you find this video helpful please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more DIY and review videos to show you here as you see there's two lines so I have no idea as far as which line is the feed and the main line coming from the panel and then coming out going to another outlet that's important when installing the GFCI because you want to have the feed line going into the the feed line of the outlet for the GFCI uh, one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew these and then I'll go turn the breaker on and test which one is live. That way it'll tell me which one I need to uh, go and connect to the, the feed line of the GFI. Be sure the black wires are not touching anything when you go to make it live again. So this one's my live feed right here.
So after you go turn off the breaker, after you confirm which one is the main feed line, just confirm that it is off again. Removing these screws so I can remove the siding that's behind it. pair of pliers and pull out the hinge like so so the pack comes with the other uh, pins for the top part of the hinge so the ones that are on the, that come in at the top are actually skinnier than the one that goes on the side. So just to compare. Until you hear a snap. Okay, now I can open and close it like that. You'll see this default comes with it open on the bottom as if you're going to have it this way where you can have a plug going. But so it comes with this cover here, so you want to pull that out if you're switching it like I am. And then put it in on the side. go through the inserts, decide which insert you're going to be using. You'll see how it's kind of cut out for the different plates. See how it just kind of fits in like that. So push it in, it snaps in place like so. Which what it's going to do is you have to mount the you have to wire in the outlet first, and then you put the screws in through there to mount it to the wall. So this one in particular, it has the sticker over matching the load terminals under this label are for feeding additional receptacles. So that means these go on the down line. These are the feed line. So the from where it comes from the breaker panel to this, then it feeds the other output for the other receptacles down the line if you have any. So on this one in particular, it's got a black screw. So that's for the uh, black line and then the silver screws for the white all right so once you get the plate in here what you'll do is the actual next step is you're not going to have it around here first it's going to go inside the outlet box and then this goes over on top of that with the 
screws on the inside so the screws will go in through here that way everything's nice and flush all right got them wired up now so just so you can see what it looks like this is the neutral side and then the hot side and then the ground wire on the bottom there so next i'm gonna go ahead and put it in the box and then put the cover on a good practice to do is wrap the outlet in electrical tape especially with this being a metal box you don't want there to be any slight contact with the metal box it'll either short it out or or create a, a fire hazard even so i'm going to wrap it in electrical tape and then i suggest you do the same thing if if you have a similar situation as this there that's what it looks like we're covering all the contact points and that way it won't have a chance to touch the metal box in Looking from above to see where I had to put the screw at into the to the metal outlet box. And there it is. So now you can go and turn it back on at the breaker and then confirm that it works. And you'll probably need to re reset the, the toggle here where it says reset and also test, test it to make sure it trips the breaker then. Okay, I turned the breaker back on. Being that this is tamper resistant, that's uh, not exactly sure how to test it, but. Reset button. There, I got a green light now. See the green light? It means it's active now. Confirmed it with the electrical tester. Now I'm going to plug in my outdoor lights that I have. Let's see if it closes. It is a tight fit, but hey, it works. If this video helped you at all, I appreciate it if you can give it a, a thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing to the channel for more DIY tips and reviews. Uh, I hope this video helped you in some way in giving you the motivation to be able to, or, or confidence to be able to do it yourself. This was a rather easy project uh, to replace the old style. I mean, they still sell these, but it's obviously you could tell this is definitely more uh, weather resistant and also replacing the outlet itself. So, again, I hope this helped you and uh, stay tuned for other DIY projects. Thanks.